Hey guys, welcome back to another Vintage Tech Unboxing. This episode, I don't have my knife again, but I removed my name from the scissors because that was something I did when I was kind of little. So, yeah. We are unboxing an iPod Touch first generation. There have been a lot of vintage Apple unboxings, so make sure to watch all of them. There will be a playlist. Let's go. This one, it was listed as original box. Um, it looked like it was in a decent condition. Please note, these things get super scratched up super easily. Okay, so, just a bunch of paper. A lot of paper. That's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. I'm so sorry that camera was crooked, I didn't even notice. Let's get that out. This is a tiny box. Like, compared. Oh, and that's so cool. The home button is indented. Like, here's an iPhone 14 Pro box for, and 15 Pro box for um, perspective. <laughs> iPod Touch 5th Gen for perspective. Now, the 5th Gen box was smaller, but that was like it. This is like a full on box. Here's like a 13 Pro Max um, compared to it. You can see the phone itself is bigger than this box. So, on the front, we have, I guess it's Big by Macy Gray. So, oh, that's the albums. But it's finally made me happy. <laughs> so it's a picture of the iPod, eight gigabytes, iPod Touch, eight gigabytes. On the back, we have all of our details designed by Apple in California. Copyright 2007. So it's used, obviously. But at least I put it in the original box. That's nice. They have foam on the front. Okay, take the iPod out, we'll set that aside and take a look at that later. And then inside we have our little plastic insert, and our little booklet. We don't have a cable which is what's supposed to come with it, but that's okay. iPod Touch, we have our quick user guide, and we have our Apple stickers. I have so many Apple stickers now from all these tech unboxings, that's great. So this was basically like an iPhone 2G without the phone. Okay, so I grabbed some devices for reference. So here's an iPhone 3G, which came out the next year, but it was very similar to the 2G. And it's so much smaller. Like, it's thinner and just a little bit shorter. As well as the power buttons on a different side. And the headphone jacks on the bottom, which is different. An iPod Touch second generation. Um, it's interesting is that the iPod Touch second generation is noticeably thicker, but it doesn't feel that way unless you have them side by side because this has a curve, more curved back. But they're both very reflective. Honestly, these are about the same damage. This was my friend's. And then what's interesting is this, the stainless steel wraps all the way around to the front versus on here, it stops and then you have another band of darker metal, which honestly, I like this look better. Oh, and it instantly starts to turn on. I mean, that's what I expected, but still. Oh, that's not good. The screen went dark, but you can still see the Apple logo, meaning the backlight turned off. Okay, there we go, it says it's charging. Okay, so I actually had to leave, and I unplugged the iPod just in case. Um, but I just plugged it back in, and it's on. That was a different unlock sound that I'm used to. Hold on, where's the volume button? Whoa. How did I just notice this now? This doesn't have volume buttons. Oh yeah. You hear that? It's a little click. That's an old calculator too. Let's see, what version is this? Ooh, it's Kyle's iPod. It's on version 3.1.3. Hopefully that's a little bit better. But this was before iOS was a thing. This is running iPhone OS. And you can see by like the taskbar or the dock. Now this is iOS 4. And it's a different dock, so you can see this one's kind of like floaty. This one's a little shelf versus this is pretty flat. And it feels so much smaller because it is physically smaller. And I'm used to this iPod when I'm using a mini like iPod touch. But this feels really nice, actually. Wow. This was before the iPod had a speaker. It just has a clicker, just like the original. Oh, I guess it doesn't stop. Just like an actual iPod, it doesn't have a speaker. Okay, let's start this timer. 
Oh, wait, that's one minute. You can't even set a timer for a second. Because <laughs> you have different tones, which is sleep iPod, so it just goes to sleep. That's called checkmate. Then there's jump. Time passing. Time's up. And up down. Best day of the whole world. Get excited, homie. It's the best day of the whole year. My birthday. Woo, get pumped. I'm finally 18. Too bad you can't see me because I'm in London. This is a, an 8 gigabyte, like it said. It says there, although you can't really see it. Um, iPod Touch first gen. It is Kyle's iPod. It has 991 songs, zero photos, zero videos. Keep in mind you had to load these from iTunes. So this is a very bare bones before we take a look at that iPod, as you can imagine. It does have the App Store, because that came out in iPhone OS 2. Nothing's gonna load. Um, context, do you have any context on here? Nope. This was strictly a music playing device, as you can tell by the default home screen layout. Because you can still rearrange apps. Let's see if the weather does it show. This person was. Cupertino, New York. Like, he, he, this was literally just for music, and that was it. Adam Sandler? <gasps> the Hanukkah song. Oh, it has cover art, carousel. They need to bring this back into retro view so you can see all your albums on here. Let's just go this way and see. Alicia Keys. Wow. There is so much music on here. Well, I'm gonna go jam out with this new iPod. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.